being cautious of other expats, I'm going to bring this one up relating to call centers. This is a bit of a warning to other people. Um, there's been a couple of people bring this forward to me, and I don't know much about the person themselves, but I do know that they basically stolen from several call centers. Um, they charge them something like five hundred dollars per session for training of some description for some account and basically they don't even turn up they just take the five hundred dollars and they've done it to multiple call centers in the philippines somebody approached me about it because they got dragged into the whole dispute because they they had actually by mistake um come in contact with the person as such, they sort of try to bounce off that they've got some involvement where they don't. Um, the only issue they've got is that person had introduced some of the call centers through their network to this guy because she didn't know who he was. Um, but then the guys basically scammed them out of cash. So be aware, if you do run a call center in the Philippines or want to run one, never pay anybody for anything. Um... If you need IT support, then that's fair enough. If you haven't got the IT guys to do it, but even better, just contact me and I'll give you an IT guy that'll do it for you. Um, because there's some bright rogues out there and the call center is full of them. Um, the, the industry is, well, let's be honest, it's got some of the worst people on the planet. <laughs> it's, it's the rogues gallery of business. You got a lot of uh, ex-criminals and stuff that get involved in um, things like the the boiler house um, sales, etc., and double glazing and all the heavy direct selling purely for profit, regardless of people who want the stuff or not. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of unscrupulous people out there. At the same time, call centers won't tell you anything. They will not mention they were involved in anything. Uh, this is quite unique where where we had a run-in with a guy. I mean, I lost about maybe $4,000, but somebody else lost $26,000. Um, I think the guy ended up costing some call centers their entire business. But either way, just don't let people run up debts with you. You know, you control... The business at the end of the day these people want the call center at the end of the day they may want to be the client but it's a bit like somebody coming in shouting and stuff in my restaurant and i want this it's not on the menu i will throw them out it's my restaurant at the end of the day and it's the same with the call center it's my business it's run the way i run it now not all clients will like that and i couldn't care less it's not about um adapting and bending over to suit everybody's whim these guys are doing it because they know a lot of the call centers india pakistan pakistan philippines will yield they'll they'll go oh yeah we'll do that for you so yeah 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 you're the boss um and that's why they do it because they know that you know they may only be allowed to have five agents run a, a new uh campaign but you'll get these people go well i want 45 well, they may want 45, they ain't getting it. And then the way I do it is, well, you can have five and that's it. You know, if you want 10, you can pay for 10. Pay 10 in advance and you can have them. There's no way I'm running it on my tab. And that's that's pretty brutal, but corporations in the UK, for example, or globally, are notoriously bad payers. So don't, it's not to do with um, weak business sense. Um, I know companies that a lot of businesses will not work with because they're bad payers. And these are multi-billion pound companies. They like to bully people and delay payments when they're supposed to say, well, it's the 30 day, then go, oh, it's the 90 day, then it goes up to 120. And then they owe you about a million pounds and then you're struggling to get it back and they still keep adding work to you because you're stupid enough to do it for them um, because you're worried about losing all the money. So be aware these people are rogues they really are and it's, the construction industry is riddled with them but the call center industry has got more than its fair share uh, so be warned there's people out there that will take your money like no tomorrow and be aware it doesn't have to be physical cash sales that they don't pay you for they've been paid for so be warned 
these people will rip you off. Alright, thanks for watching.